Dick. Detroit arson investigators spent hours today combing through what's left of a house after a fire killed a beloved 89 year old man. Yeah, that fire happened on 33rd Street, right in the area of I-94 in Livernois. Our Sean Lay spoke to relatives and people who checked on him. They say they were worried about him even before the fire started. Arson crews here wrapping up right now, investigating the fire that took place here. There's not much left, as you can see. Family members clearly devastated at the loss. We just also spoke with a woman who checked on this man each and every day, and what really stood out to her was the space heater that he was using. She did not think it was safe at all. 33rd Street in Herbert, part of the dwelling fire. Tragedy this morning on 33rd Street on Detroit's west side. When firefighters arrived, this home was already collapsing. You know, a quick entry into a house in that condition, you could fall right into the basement as soon as you walk in. Too dangerous to go in, and the hydrant right out front wasn't working. We're experiencing low hydrant pressure at the ratio of 33rd. Crews had to hook into a hydrant down the street. Inside the home, an 89-year-old man named Graham White. His family says people knew and loved him, calling him by his nickname. Uncle Boo. They knew Uncle Boo. If people around here, you ask anybody, they knew Uncle Boo, and he did everything for everybody. And White was fiercely independent. Yeah, and I wish to check on him every day. Not only did Gigi Hernandez check on him, his space heater worried her. From the the fumes from the heater, yeah. What would you tell him? Uh, that That's dangerous. I said, if you don't feel safe here, just go to the shelter and call somebody to take you away just for winter time, you know. We're live tonight. Let's talk about that hydrant right in front of the home. The arson chief tells me that, yes, it indeed was not working, but had no real impact on how crews, when they got there, fought the fire. The home was already collapsing in on itself. There was no way they could get in there. But firefighters on the scene wanted to call the hydrant in right away so it gets back online and repaired right away. Kimberly, back to you. Yeah, just awful. Well, Sean, I know Detroit arson investigators, they're putting out a warning after what happened this morning. That's right, about warning about kerosene heaters, space heaters, making sure you keep an eye on them, keeping them away and anything else uh, close to them that could ignite. It's getting chilly out here now and yep. people are going to look for alternative uses of heating. So they want to uh, show the example that, look, you got to be very careful with these things. Don't let anything close to it that could catch fire. Yeah, you really do. Okay, thanks, Sean.